Umbral Crest, the Dragon Spirit, and the Cut Above, guys. Dragon Spirit is pretty fun, but I heard on Reddit that this got over nerfed. The gain a component up to four was not limited. You could get infinite items with the Dragon Spirit, healing from Dragon Claw. Um, you could use multiple Dragon Claws, but right now I'm, I'm gonna wait for a buff again. Uh, we have a good star. We have Story Weaver, so we already have Kale. Okay, so here I want to go for the Umbral Crest. The reason being is we are on the loot subscription. My, fate. my destination is clear. This one got fire. We are on loot subscription, you know. So I feel like getting the Umbral Crest is kind of dank. Um, the only problem we have is... The only problem we have is... I don't know. <laughs> what is our problem, guys? What is our problem? Nothing, right? Yeah, we take the Umbral Crest. Because Loot Subscription has a very high chance to give us... Uh, spatulas, stuff like that. You can craft an Umbral Crest with a Crit Claw. Um, yeah, we have a very high chance to get some more. And that should be very dank. If we get some more Umbral Crest, because then we can go super deep into the Umbral trait. And potentially even hit Exodia, which is of course... Uh, what was it? Nine Umbral? Yes. There is six Umbral champions. So nine Umbral would be Exodia. Now the question is, do I want to... I want to play Umbral, right? There we go. There we go. So the Umbral trade, as you can see, creates these hexes. And all of the units that are in those hexes get a shield. Now, if it's an Umbral unit in the hex, they also get the ability to execute enemies below 10% health. If you have 4 Umbral, it's going to go to 450 shields and a 15% health execute. And more of the some, some 3 hexes on this side will also be illuminated. And then if you have 6 Umbral, the entire board will be Umbral. The entire board will have these hexes. And then um, 750 shield. The execute stays at 15% health. Now if you get 9 Umbral, which again requires 3 spatulas. But if you get that, you get a 100% chance to drop loot on the execute. And it's a 40% health execute. That is silly, guys. 40% health is very silly. It's a lot. That's a lot, guys. You feel me? <laughs> That's a freaking lot. So you're just gonna absolutely destroy everything, huh? I have not hit a prismatic trait yet. You know? Prismatic traits are the ones where you need, like, three spatulas, you know? Like, for example, Story Weaver, 10 Story Weaver would turn the Kale into a 4-star. And she's as strong as a 3-star legendary, almost, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, you need, uh, you need three, you need three spatulas and level 10. Here, I only need level 9, luckily. But we still need two more emblems, which is gonna be rough to get. There's no spatula here, that's good, that's good, because I'm last pick, I would have never gotten that. And again, we have a decent-ish chance, right? I think. Maybe we can get the Prismatic Augment, which is also an Umbral Crown, right? Ooh. Hopefully we get it. Is, is a Loon gonna be my carry, or is there another carry in Umbral? There's only really a Loon, right? Which is a little bit awkward, isn't it? Uh, how much mana does Sivir have? 50? I don't really want to give her a Shoujin. I don't really want to give her a Shoujin, do I? That'd be very awkward. Um, We're just gonna chill here. We could go into... A uh, little bit of Duelist. Ink Shadow. I think I'm fine with this for now. I, I don't know if I'm overvaluing this freaking Kale. She's giving us a little bit of attack speed to the left and to the right. So, to Sivir. And she's dealing a little bit of damage. I might be overvaluing it. 
he's level 5. He's a giant slayer, which isn't that strong early game. I have the gargoyles, which has huge value here. The enemy Jax is not gonna ult. Nice. I think we win those. We win those, right? We win those? Yeah. Nice. Good job, good job. Like, these are pretty strong units here. I like these units a lot. Like, Trisana and Volibear both being duelists. Pretty freaking strong. Story Weaver. I feel like we can cook something better. Oh! First encounter of the game. Azir moves to 3, 2, and 4. 2 augments to random rounds. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen this one. Is that gonna be cool or no? I'm not sure. Is that gonna be cool or no? Ooh. Okay, I mean, now... We are changing our entire board. To four duelists. We're almost Ink Shadow as well. We're almost freaking Ink Shadow as well. How much mana do you have, baby boy? 100? Don't mind if I do. Uh, there's a duelist as well. But I think the ones I'm using right now are better. Uh, two, three costs, a four cost, and the other guy is Umbral. We have to use him, right? We're almost Ink Shadow. We would like to play Ink Shadow somehow. We keep the Umbral units. The Lee Sin has a nice little kick. It's a bunch of damage. It's a melee physical damage dealer. Pretty cool here. With the Umbral Execute. Definitely not too bad. We will uh, play something else though. Again, I think I have to just go a Loon Carry. She is very OP right now, so I'm trying to not play the OP stuff. And I already showcased her once. Volibear 2 is crazy. But getting that this early on is crazy. I think we can just keep streaking. This is good as frick, man. Let's go. This is really good. Um, I would like to... Oh, there's an Umbral unit, by the way. Um, so, I would like to get Ink Shadow, because that's going to give us a tattoo of Bombardment. Actually, is Bombardment that, too, that good? Bombardment tattoo is basically a Hurricane, but a little bit better. Is double Shoujin good on the Lady? Probably not, right? I'm not going to make... <sighs> kind of broke here, right? But it's okay. I'm not going to... Wait a second. Is... Is double Shoujin good on Alun? How much mana does she have? I think 100. Might be okay. Let's see if let's see if Twitch chat has any tips. Um, blood, do you enjoy getting milked? Question mark. All right, man. Thank you for that input, guys. Thank you, Twitch chat. Appreciate it. Amazing. Nah, it's great to switch out. That's great. Keep going, guys. That is great Twitch out, bro. 60 mana. She does not want double Shoujin, bro. Wait, she's gonna 3 auto attack cast if she gets double Shoujin. Instead of 4 auto attacks. It's not even that bad, right? Bro, it's not even that bad. I don't give a frick. I'll try it. Double Shoujin like a bad you see? It's not it's probably not that bad, right? 60 mana, 2 Shoujin equals 20 mana per attack, 3 auto attacks, 1 ult. Ah, it doesn't sound bad to me. I'm gonna keep this Tristana because I think we will level here and just play Tristana. Oh yeah, there's no augment. There's no augment in stage 3. It's kind of funny, no? It's kind of funny though. Okay, so we're very lucky that we found an Aloon. It's very good. Uh, she is, in my opinion, a little bit overpowered right now. I'm not sure if she's going to get nerfed again. I think she already got nerfed. Um, I am actually struggling on this set, guys. I keep losing. Yesterday, I played 8 hours to get 3 videos. None of these videos were a first place. They were only 2nd and 3rd places. I am a freaking... I mean, okay, guys. I'll keep it a stack. Like, it's funny to make fun of me, right? But let's keep it a buck fifty. These players. I'm always playing against Soraka reroll. At least two people. 
at least two people playing a loon reroll every game. Like, that's already top four. Like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Break through the barrier of balance and win against broken units? No. No. I can't do that. So anyway. So yeah. Like, um, yeah, we've been losing a lot. The only first place, or one of the only, like, two or three first places I got in this new set is a loon reroll. She's bosses, frick, guys. So, um, yeah... Uh, she rains meteors through the row with the most total enemy health, okay? So let's say frontline, she's gonna BAM! Shoot all of them with meteors. Meteors deal 430 magic damage split between all of them. This guy disconnected. Um, and you deal 192 magic damage to the current target, the one you're focusing, right? Additionally. And then all enemies hit are 20% shredded for 6 seconds. Magic pen, right? So you don't, don't, maybe you don't need magic pen. Ah, it's still okay because magic pen is 30%, right? Static shave and ionic spark are 30%. And then she grants 20% attack speed split amongst allies in a loon's row. So she's gonna give attack speed here. Why am I not putting Tristana next to her then? Or on this hex here, which is also uh, umbral hex? Because the Tristana jumps away anyway. That's why she jumps away. Tristana. Casts a little bomb on the enemies and jumps away. Do you think I should go double Gin... Do you think I, sh I should try Ginsu's on a loon? And just make her cast as often as possible? Nah, I, I need Rabadons, bro. I need Rabadons. Let's keep it a buck. I need Rabadons, man. He's gonna take it, isn't he? Why did I take this? Hmm? <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Like, Giant Slayer on... Giant Slayer on... on oh, wow, we got him. On this guy. How bad is Giant Slayer on him? What do you think? It's probably not bad, right? It's legit not bad, probably. And you can see that the, the, the hex... The thing turns very cool, in my opinion, at least. It becomes pretty cool. Okay, so, um, I always have to make Giant Slayer. Oh, hey, cool. So far, so cool. The question is... Ah, it's gonna be Giant Slayer, uh, Irelia. I'm gonna go Umbral Irelia, right? And she's gonna execute these mother shuckers. That's gonna be good as frick, right? Umbral Irelia, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Good, good. It's gonna be real good. Yeah. I feel like something that cool should be locked behind nine of the trade. No. Okay, relax. It's just a moon. It's not that cool. Like, it's pretty cool, but it's not that cool. Any offers you better shops or more gold for the next few rounds. For three rounds, your shops are one level higher. For three rounds, double your interest. So, one, two, three, level nine shops, don't mind if I do, level nine shops, right, level nine shops, yeah, don't mind if I do, GG, GG, uh, brother boy, you piece of garbage, you're freaking dead, I win the game for free, okay, level nine shop, right, level nine shop, level nine shop, Three rounds. Your shops are one level higher. A oh, level nine shop. Okay. I'll have like, what, 30 gold? If I keep this win streak, I'll have 30 gold, right? Nice. Okay, we get level nine shops. We can actually find the stupid lady. The Irelia. I don't even need Illumin 3. I can just go two star Illumin. Because I kind of want to make it to level. I'm going to sell this. I need the interest rate. I need the interest rate, bro. We need as much money as we can. Get. Yeah. Level 9 shops. Amazing, guys. So, we will have, like, what, 30 gold left or something? Oh, yeah, and this is a level 8 shop right now. Nice. Holy frick, this is so good. That's a cool portal. Um, I mean, honestly, she's pretty good for now. Like, she's pretty freaking good for now, man. Don't mind if I do, bro. These items are actually pretty good. Okay. She can print some items, bro. It's only three rounds, yes, but we I am doing the math. I, 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 I'll roll down. I'm rolling down, man. Nice. 
against another Yoni. Umbral Champions deal 3% more damage every second they continue attacking an enemy. Resets when they swap targets. You gain a Darius and a Yorick. That, I mean, don't mind if I do, man. Nah, just don't mind if I do, bro. Do not mind, please. Do not mind. Ah! Aha! Now that is very cool if you know what I'm saying, guys. Now that is very freaking cool if you know what the frick I'm saying, guys. It lasts for one more round. Oh, I have to I have to level right now, huh? Ah, uh, that is just very fun. That is just very fun, guys. Do you understand? Another girl. I mean, how bad is she anyway? Do I need this guy? He, he is Behemoth. He is Behemoth. Uh, Frick Yone. It's one more round. Is it this round or one more afterwards? You know? That's the question. Because I'm willing to sell the... The, the Udir and Dig. Because I was counting until 4-2 with, with, with Hold. I guess it counted Wolves. And he counted the first round. He counted the first round, she showed up. Is she gone? She's still here. We're freaking chilling. Alright, hold up. What am I doing? I'm selling this guy, open sell. Ah, that is... Now, that is interesting, guys. Now, that's interesting. No, that, that's really interesting, how that sh just shows up. No, that 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 is uh, that is very interesting to me, man. Uh, who gets who gets who gets this? Udir, I guess. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm ditching this freaking girl, right? For zero more rounds, I should still keep rolling until zero. With this guy. I'm pretty sure I'm ditching her, right? She doesn't fit into the comp. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we roll, we roll. Oh, I was already at 3%. Okay, <laughs> my bad, it's fine. I thought I was still at 10%, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Because, like, Yone 2 doesn't, like, Yone doesn't matter. Because we're selling her, right? We're giving the Udir the, the thingy. And we're moving this to this. We're moving this to this. We're moving this to this. Um, and what's my plus one, Bruiser? Probably. A Bruiser for now? Okay, I mean, we have Yorick pair. We have a... I really... Uh, that's enough to go fast. Nine now. I need one more Umbral emblem at some point. And I can get ten Umbral and nine Umbral. And I just win the game for free. We need a Yone again, but again, like, you'll always find a Yone, don't worry about that. I have an Elune 1, which is a little bit cringe. I'll keep it a stack. The Irelia is going crazy mode. So is the Udir. <laughs> That's really... Okay, so I'm executing 15% health, right? Now, this math just doesn't check out, guys. 2k... I just doesn't check out. I think it was literally one health left or something. <laughs> that's just dumb. That's just dumb. <laughs> Defensive component. Defensive component. I mean, I'll always take I really up here if I can. I can. I'll always take this if I can. I'll always take this if I can. Okay. I mean, I, are you are you just stream sniping or are you a piece of garbage? I mean, I'll take Rabadons on Elune. You need a 308 Lamao. That's really fun, right? That's really funny, man. No, that, that's really cool how that works. I love this game, huh? Nah, we love this game. We love it, guys. Yippee, yay, yay, yippee, yippee. Okay. So this is gonna be Hurricane or something on her. That's gonna be good. I'm just chilling. Uh, I'm just chilling, bro. I have so much health. Gonna collect some econ. It's all good. 
We're very healthy. We're good. We're good. Collect some econ. Roll down again, probably. We need a two-star loon, and then we go level nine. Like a loon is gonna be our main carry. We still have another um, augment coming up. Also, we have an early set. And Seth is very cool. As you probably noticed, he's doing some shenanigans. He's squatting his teammates left and right of him. Um, he squats them at the start of every fight. And the more health they have, the more permanent attack damage he gets. He's al he already farmed 18% attack damage. For each 1000 health he squats, he gets 2% attack damage permanently. So he's juicing up, guys. Very cool. And honestly, this behemoth thing is not even bad. Like, I just play this guy, he's pretty okay, he's pretty good with this as well, because he tends to, when he goes into, um, at, at the start, he's in Ram Slam mode, where he just knocks it around people, but then when he drops to 50% health, he heals back to full, drops all aggro, and then just starts attacking somebody, gains a bunch of attack speed, and goes Tiger mode, right? Which deals a bunch of uh, magic damage, right? And uh, that, that is going to be really good with this uh, Wrath of the Moon. Umbral champions deal 3% more damage every second they continue attacking an enemy and he's just attacking that single enemy. Oh, you know what? You know what? This is really bad for Irelia, right? This augment is completely trash for Irelia, right? Because she always switches enemies. Ah, that's not good. But I mean, Irelia just fits well, right? With the execution. I think it's still fine to play her. But it is very bad for Irelia, to, to be fair. Because she never focuses the same unit until it's a 1v1. She always keeps switching. Yeah. Can we find something better? Maybe Lissandra was better. Lissandra is good. And she would have printed some items. But I feel like she wouldn't have printed items, you know? Kaisa. Kaisa has ricochets, guys. Kaisa ricochets. Kaisa ricochets, man. She also hits other people. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe just play Reaper. Maybe just play Reaper with the other guy. With Kane. Reaper with Kane. But the thing is, do I really want to do that? Not really, man. Please be an emblem. <laughs> it's a boot. It's a freaking shoe. It's a freaking shoe. <laughs> what about Z uh, what about Zaya? Kuko Zaya. Kuko Zaya Loki. Like I feel like my my girl is not doing a lot of damage. <laughs> she is not. <laughs> She's not doing a lot of damage. Should I go for a crit glob? Just to have it in case I get a special at some point. I think so, right? Yeah. I go armor pen and I probably pivot out of uh, Irelia. The thing is, she's dualist as well, which fits well with the Darius. But I'm actually down to play uh, to try Kane maybe. But Kane is a melee carry, and I feel like it's just too risky. But I have to roll an eight anyway, right? I can't go level nine yet. I'm gonna lose too much health if I go level nine here. I think it's smart to take a quick loss, right? And grief one of my items because I don't really need uh, even shroud that much. But, um, like, I, I think it's smart to go for it, because the the potential for to get a random spatula is kind of big at some point. Grants you a death plate and a death cap. These last for three rounds. I mean, it's really good for me. Uh, do we go, do we pivot into this? Why is Alun level 1? Because I low rolled, brother man. Like, I didn't find anymore. The frick do you mean? Isn't that obvious? You think I would just skip Alun's and never two star her? Like, hello? Critical thinking? No offense. I feel like the Irelia is still just a strong unit. I don't know. Like, just because she doesn't make use of this augment, she still makes use of the Umbral trait very well. That's the thing, she makes use of the Umbral trade very well. And Deathblade is really good on her. This guy's a 3 star Lux, which just one shots in my backline. So much we can do. I mean, I have to roll here, bro. I'm gonna lose so much health. I have to roll here. 
I, I'm looking for Kane. I can play Kane. Um, I'm looking for this, this. I can play Kane, bro. Don't give me an Ink Shadow. I mean, I get, I get, I get the bombardment thing. The two of bombardment is actually not bad. But it's not that good on Kane, right? It would be really good on Irelia. <laughs> I mean, Ink Shadow Crest is not bad, honestly. Bro, this is not bad. This is not bad, actually. I need lifesteal on him, though. Ah, uh, what else can I do, man? Oh, I have to play this guy. Bro, I feel like I got weaker, man. No, actually, like, the, the, I really I was kind of trash. Maybe I'm supposed to play 5 Ink Shadow? What does it give me? Oh, it gives me Tattoo of Vitality? Okay, I'm supposed to play 5 Ink Shadow for sure. I'm supposed to play 5 Ink Shadow for sure, then. Okay. It gives me the Broken Tattoo for the guy, right? And I just play uh, Kai'Sa? Okay. No Ricochet Kai'Sa is kind of weird though, right? I'll take a Loon with a Sunfire. Okay, I mean, I have to just roll down here, right? <laughs> uh, sell this, play Kai'Sa. Umbral. Giant Slayer. Bench him. Bombardment. Deathblade. Sunfire on this. Um, five Ink Shadow needs to go in. I'm kinda dizzy, I'll keep it a buck. I mean, now I might as well go level 9, no? I'll find Yaloon 2 at level 9, I'll find Kai'Sa 2 at level 9. I have 40 health. I feel like I'm losing so much health here, right? Yeah, I'm losing so much health just for greed. I'm just being greedy, man. <sighs> okay, and I don't have a trick shot. Bro, I think I just level right now. Oh, bro, bro I, I mean, this is, this is cringe, but like... Like, I legit think I just level right now, man. Alright, there we go. This is good. I mean, this is pretty good. I'm much stronger now. I could also go... No. I mean, if I get 2-star two two star Udyr, I'm legit insanely strong. 2-star Udyr, 2-star set. I'm like giga strong, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm giga strong. The Kai'Sa focus is one unit. I'm not sure how it works with... Bro, why is he so strong? Oh, man. I mean, I did my best. I leveled as well. I wasn't being greedy for once. I actually leveled. I feel like this Umbral thing is a little bit of a gamble if you get uh, three emblems. If you don't get three emblems, like the two emblems are basically just doing nothing. I know I'm playing seven Umbral, but what am I supposed to kick? This guy, right? For something good? Maybe it's just trick shot, huh? It's gonna ricochet, but I'm not sure how it's gonna interact with this. Umbral champions deal every second they continue attacking an enemy. They, she is continually attacking one enemy. She does a ricochet to another one, but it shouldn't it shouldn't disturb her, right? 
Bro, I didn't get spatula, man. That's just so sad, guys. No? That's just freaking sad, bro. I'm pretty sure I want Gunblade on him. I want some lifesteal on him, and then I might as well go QSS because, like, the spatula is not showing up anymore unless it's here. But if it's there, like, bro, I'm dead until then if I don't go... If I don't go for no, this on him. Like, I'm legit dead if I don't go for this. Ah. It's kind of annoying, man. Also, there's a better trick shot that I could play, right? I mean, it's just barred. It's not really much better than this Timo, I guess. Okay, surely we win those, right? We win those? Come on, Kaisa. Finish him. Let's go. Okay, top two. Top two. This guy dies. Let's go. This guy is just Mr. 7... 780... Mr. 87, man. Zaya. Oh, yeah. Zaya is a better one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. The Twitch chat is spamming like crazy. Zaya is indeed a better one, bro. Is there a better... Um, is there a better Ink Shadow? Volley Bear? But honestly, it's not even that much better. Okay, I mean, last fight, I guess. I think we're dead after this, no? I mean, this is good, this is good, I don't know. How much How much damage does Set have? What do you think? 74! 74 bonus attack damage. Oh, he's good as frick. He's really good, man. I don't even know what his ult does. He like jumps in. Yeah, he jumps in and slams down, bro. That's actually really good. Wait, high key, we could win. Because the Kogma is... It's a one cost, right? It is three star, but like it's a one cost. Oh, high key, we might be able to break this guy. Bro, I'm telling you, like I'm not going to sell this guy. I need, I just need the emblem and I'm back. I'm not going to keep rolling, right? I have everything two star except for Zaya and this guy. That's okay. We're not gonna keep rolling. We need a we need we'll need a new Yone again. If we get the like high key here, I survive one more. Umbral emblem, it's a forced. What like umbral emblem, it's a forced, no? There's no way I won't find Yone better, bro. It's just Yone, man. I'm gonna swap these because I want the Udir to stay alive. Uh, but a tattoo of vitality is just the best thing ever on Udyr. Attacks heal the holder for 2% of their max health, 2.5%, and deal the same the same amount of damage in true damage. Or bonus magic damage, excuse me. Not true damage. Bonus magic damage. It's just so freaking tanky, man. Nah, this is really strong now. Like, after we hit all our 2 stars, it's really strong. And I think the Kai'Sa is also really good. With this, uh, it's definitely working, right? I don't think the Ricochet is breaking her stuff. Umbral Emblem, like a Babus? No. Sad. I want a, I want a item on my, on my guy, on this, on this guy. He's pretty good. I mean, the game's ending before I reach level 10, right? For sure or no? Not really, though. Like, I can reach level 10 here. After Rift Herald? Can I? The freak is that cope, man? How am I coping this hard? I mean, he's not moving his positioning. I'm gonna do this again. Because I want him to protect this guy, actually. I should also feed the freaking... Uh, Yorick on the other on the other hand on the other side. So he has the he has the Nico carry augment, but we're killing her so fast, bro. But it's really cool. That is his drop, right? Yeah, he dropped an item. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know if we can win this. Can I level? What do I even level for? Oh, Dragon Lord. Can you play Zaya and Rakan at the same time? Surely you can, right? Can you play Zaya and Rakan at the same time or no? I mean, surely you can. Because like we can get Dragon Lord. Yes, you can. That's funny. That's really cool. 
Yeah, yeah, we play Dragon Lord. He switched sides. He's keeping the uh, the the girl safer, but he doesn't have a lot of damage on her, right? I think you want to go Jewel Gauntlet and stuff. She flies up and slams down, and the more she slams down, the bigger it gets with the carry augment. The bigger the AOE gets. But like, you you just want Jewel Gauntlet and stuff. Oh, she might actually one shot. Nah, she's not gonna one shot with that build. Yeah, see. Oh, she's got oh oh. But uh, but you know who's gonna kill her? The Udir. <laughs> Yeah, but that was definitely better positioning by him. I was kind of close. I was definitely sweating. I was kind of close. No. Yep. Set sniped Kogma, really? I didn't see it. Okay, so the set is, by the way, keeps farming up. He's at 110% bonus attack damage. That's really big. I don't have the best build. Like, QSS is good. Gunblade, well, Bloodthirster would be better, but Gunblade is completely fine. And then, of course, even Shroud, you would rather have that on somebody else and have a better item on him. But we're about to get an item here. Oh, yeah. I think it's Giant Slayer, right? For all these freaking trash items, man. Or these freaking trash rewards. Okay, I mean, this is big. This is big now. This is freaking big. We can level. I mean, I can't do anything. I'll just play another... I'll just play that guy. Because he's... He's most health, right? Switching sides to focus the Nico first with my girl. Man, we got cocked by the... By the loot, loot thing, man. We could have gotten it. Look at the set, look at the set! Oh, he almost, he just barely died. But the ricochets of the girl is, are gonna kill the Kogma. Nice. The executes. Huge, guys. Huge. Close fight. He's not dead yet. We need to survive one more. We need Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord is gonna go, go hard. Dragon Lord is gonna go hard. I mean, I'm down to play double this guy, no? Rather. Okay, yeah. Nah. I think this is fine. I don't think Invoker does a lot. Diana. I, I wanted I wanted Rakan. I, I don't think okay, I mean Dragon Lord, yeah, sure. It would still be better than I mean the set can low-key pop off. I'm thinking maybe I should have played this year. What, what is what is my Kaisa doing? Hello, Kaisa. Don't just go. Kaisa, don't just walk next to him. I think I lose this, bro. She just walked next to him. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't find a Z like I'm level ten. I didn't find a single Zaya or Akan. Rolls like twenty, and we had two emblems so early on. We're on loot subscription. We don't find an Umbral emblem. I, it's fine, guys. We still had fun. We still have fun. But, bro, that was uh, that was some of the craziest late-game RNG, you know? Not getting, not getting a spatula, even preparing for the spatula with the Kriglov. No spatula on carousel, like four carousels in a row. Pain, guys. Oh, well, hopefully we get uh, 9 Umbral at some point. Subscribe, rotation bell, if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.